Hello, good to see you. Good to see you too. How are you today? Today, I'm fine, thank you. Happy day is fine. <laughs> <laughs> good. Glad to hear that, Zeming. Did you do anything special today? Uh, I'm, I, I go out to, um, today um, at the, um, in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, I, um, I, uh, I met my friend, and uh, we went to a restaurant have um, uh, had um, lunch. Okay, so uh, you went out to a restaurant for lunch. Yeah, all is past then. Okay. Yep. Don't forget, uh, I went out. Oh, okay. then. Oh. Mhm. Mm my friend for lunch. Yep, because you did it uh, this afternoon, correct? In the yes. past? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this past. Well, cool. I, yeah. Was it good to see your friend? Was it good, the lunch, something? Yes, yes, yes. Is it a friend that you see, that you usually yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, now uh, we had the uh, having a lunch uh, before um, before uh, I saw um, I saw um, um, another friend. Oh, okay, cool, very nice. Yeah, well, perfect. We'll... perfect continue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will <laughs> good. We will practice more of the past perfect continuous today. You are correct, Samming. All right, let me say hello to um, Anton. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Fine. It's a good day for me. How is your day today? It's pretty good. Why is <laughs> it a good day for you today? Oh, because every day is a good day. <laughs> oh, good. Wow, I have such positive students. I love it. <laughs> well, good. Welcome to class. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, Leonardo. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Did you do anything exciting today? Uh, I was studying Spanish. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> That's. Is it not confusing? No, to study? no it's, it's normal. Okay. Okay, well, very good. Welcome to class. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, hello, Giuseppe. Hello, teacher. <laughs> How are you today? Fine, thanks, today. Oh, good. Very glad. What did you do today? Mm. Today is a good, good day. Mm -hmm. And what did you do? What did you do today? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I I'm studying uh, English for uh, one hour. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm studying irregular verbs. Ah, okay, good, perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, I very want, nice. Uh, I want to uh, study uh, many hours. You want much to. Hour. You want to study for a lot of hours? Good. Yes. All right. For the next hour, I want. Uh, I'm very happy for uh, uh, learn uh, the English. Good. Glad. Well, welcome to class. Thank you. Mhm. Mm All right. Let me say hello to David. Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, David, is this your first time with me? Uh, today is the second time. The second the time? The first, first time we quite a long time ago. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, nice to see you again. Remind me, where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Vietnam. I'm living in Korea now. Okay. Yes. Yes, I do remember. Okay. Well, welcome back. Nice to see you. Yeah, thank you. All right, let me say hello to um, Monica. Hello, Daniela. Hello, how are you? 
I am fine, thank you. What about you? I'm pretty good, thanks. Did you do anything exciting today? No, I was on verbing, <laughs> so <laughs> I wrote. All right, well, very good. That can be exciting. It depends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, welcome to class. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruth, hello? Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks, and you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Did you do anything exciting today? What? Ah, did you do any? Oh, did you do anything exciting today? Exciting. Mhm. Mm like special. A studying. Just studying. Okay. Yeah. I have exams. Oh no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, good luck on your exam. On your exams. I wish you luck. Thank you. Mhm. Mm all right. Uh, let me say hello to. Oh goodness. Okay. Ev. Evgenia. You can call me Eugenia. <laughs> hello. Eugenia. Okay. That's right. Okay. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, and you were in a class with me, but I don't think I met you. I think the yeah. connection was bad, right? Yes, it's my first time here. Okay. Here you. Okay, perfect. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Russia. Okay, perfect. Well, very nice to meet you. Welcome to class. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and Ken. Yes, hello. How are you? Very good. How are, I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Uh, did you do anything exciting today, Ken? Uh, I just uh, came back from the shopping mall. Mm. Did you buy anything? Yeah, kind of. Uh, food. You know, oh. it, it's, it's late at night here, so... If I go there, uh, I can get some uh, kind of discount food there. Oh, cool. So it's like a market or something? A shopping mall with a shopping. supermarket. Oh, with a supermarket in it. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, very exciting. All right, guys, welcome to class. We are going to begin. Um, here is the link we are going to use, uh, but we're not going to start at the beginning. Today we are going to look at past perfect continuous. Um, so ooh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think we are going to start at uh, here, where it's light blue. Mm. Okay. 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 Um let's see. Ken. Go ahead and read this first paragraph with the example in it. Okay. Uh the past perfect progressive emphasizes the, the ongoing nature of a past activity or situation leading up to more recent past time. Living with a roommate was hard for me in the beginning. I had been living alone for years. Mm -hmm. Okay, where is the past perfect progressive or the past perfect continuous? I had been living alone. Yeah, perfect. Had been living is the past perfect progressive. Um, good job. Thanks, Ken. Okay. Mm. The next paragraph, okay, um, go ahead, uh, Samin. Uh, use in the past perfect progressive for an action or situation that continued up to an 
event or situation in past time. This can show a vision or give a background okay. information. He looked tired because he had been working all night. Mm -hmm. My eyes were short because I hadn't been wearing my contest. Perfect. Okay, so um, it can be background information or it can give a reason. So um, we can use the past perfect to talk about one event leading to another event in the past or when they give us a reason or the background information. Okay? And it's always an event that is continuous. Okay? Mm, good. Uh, let's read this one. Um, go ahead, Root. Uh, teacher, uh, I put the text and not not is the same the same text. Oops. Is other. Uh, oh, you have to you have to scroll down. You have to move move the pages down. For example, is this okay? Is this what it looks like? Uh, do you see my screen? Yes. Okay. See. Is it the same as yours? Yes. Okay. You have to you have to move the mouse down. Ah, okay. Okay, you have to scroll down to page, uh, well, I don't know what page. <laughs> it, it start with, bef with before and after. The past perfect is not always necessary. Is this? B? No, we're, uh, we're starting with B in the light blue. It's a light blue color. It says with some verbs. Okay, I see now. Thanks. Mm -hmm. With some verbs such as live, play, teach, wear, and work, use either the past perfect or past perfect progressive. The meaning is similar. Mm -hmm. So read the two examples for us. Hold on. Okay. Read the, the example. Yes. The twins had lived in different cities before they discovered each other. Or the twins had been living and in different cities before they discovered each other. Good. Okay, so when we use verbs like live, there's really not a difference uh, between the past perfect and the past perfect progressive. Okay, so there are a few verbs like live, play, teach, wear, work, that you can use both, and it doesn't really matter. Does everyone understand that? Class? Uh, yes. Yes? Okay, perfect. All right, so now... Um, Using live, play, teach, wear, or work, I want you to try to create a sentence using the past perfect progressive. So notice, uh, let's see, okay. The past perfect progressive uh, usually talks about two events. So this is one event, and this is the second event. Okay, so you can um, you can use either the past perfect or the past perfect progressive, um, and use one of these words in a sentence. Okay, um, who would like to go first? Can I say uh, I had I had I had been studying. When I discovered verbum, 
I have been studying every day when I discovered bourbon. Mm -hmm. I had been studying every day when I discovered, yep, burbling. Yep, because it's leading up to that point. That's good. Mm -hmm. I had been studying every day when I discovered burbling. Can you think of an example with live, play, teach, wear, or work, Leonardo? What? Sorry? Uh, can you think can you think of an example with live, play, teach, wear, or work? Another example, let me think. Uh, I had I had been living mm -hmm. alone after my parents left me. Okay, but uh okay. Um, okay, uh, hold on, hold on, but had been living, when you use the, uh, the past perfect, um, it's always the event before. Before. Mm -hmm. Type. So, um, you could say, hold on, let me think. Um, you would have to say, I had been living alone uh, until my parents found me, or something. Because you, the, the past perfect progressive has to be the event before. Does that make sense? Mm, no. no? Yeah, but... Mm. Good. Don't forget Ben Summing. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I I have a question about the before. Uh huh. Tell me. Oh, in the progressive, I uh, type for two hours. Uh huh. I had been typing for two hours. Before. Uh huh. What's the, yeah, what is the meaning? Is it the um, uh, I, I had been working for two hours uh, before 10 a.m. Uh, it just means uh, that sometime before before 10 o'clock, you had been working. Oh, um, yeah, I'm because I had been working for two hours before 10 a.m. Um, so it could mean leading up to 10 a.m., but I think he would use, I had been working for two, two hours until 10 a.m., oh. I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. If I use before, that mean Maybe I start I start from uh, seven o'clock and end end in nine o'clock. Is it possibly possibly? possibly. Um, I had been working for two hours before ten a.m. Yeah, because it's not it's not really clear. Um, I think usually when you use the past perfect progressive, it is usually talking about an event leading up to an event, though. Um, so it might it might be understood that it is, for example, from eight to ten. Uh, but to make it the most clear, I think I would say I had been working for two hours until ten a.m. That you mean I started from eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If I uh, use before, that means the before 10 a.m. That means maybe I start from 5, 5 a.m. Uh, I start from 7 a.m. Is it? Yeah, it possibly could. But if you're if you're wanting to say that, um, yeah, you could you could say that. I had been working before 10 a.m. Mm, or I had been sorry. I had been working for two hours before 10 a.m. 
Uh, yeah, it possibly could mean 7 a.m., I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It means lots of um, uh, lots back from 8 a.m. If I use before. If you use what word? If I use before. Uh huh, yeah. I am not stuck from 8 a.m. Right, right. I don't I don't believe so. I think you can mean yeah. just before, sometime before, I believe. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and then Anton, I had been teaching different courses um, before I obtained uh -huh, my master's. Yep. Uh, good. Uh, were you teaching, Anton, or were you learning? Uh, I, I was teaching. Oh, okay. Because I, I was making uh, practices. Oh, okay, perfect. Yep, I understand. Good. Um, I was tired because I had been teaching my mother. <laughs> okay, great, Leonardo. Perfect. I was tired because I had been teaching my mother how to use Facebook for, um, uh -huh, for the last two hours or for the past two hours. For the past two hours. Good. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But perfect. Um, okay. So, all right. So I have an example from Leonardo, Anton, Sam Ming. Uh, okay. Who else can give me an example? Try to make it with live, play, teach, wear, or work. Ruth or Monica? Or Eugenia, or David. <laughs> I had been teaching my little brother. Uh, okay, can I say that um, I do? I've been wearing sandals every day before winter came. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had been wearing sandals every day before winter came. Yep. Uh, okay. Mm, okay. Mm, I had been teaching my little brother. No, David, you would say uh, I taught my little brother when I was in high school, uh, because those are happening uh, at the at the same time. Um, so you need you need an exact moment. I had been teaching my little brother. Um, when he entered, or I, okay, you could say I had been teaching my little brother uh, this is a sentence you can say. I had been teaching my little brother, oops, my little brother until I entered high school. So I had been teaching him something until I entered high school. So then when you entered high school, it stopped. Um, but two two events that are happening at the same time, uh, it's better to just say, I taught my little brother when I was in high school. Does that make sense, David? Yes, okay, perfect. Uh, I had been playing tennis until I got, uh-huh, you could say, until I got injured. Until I got injured, Monica, but great. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, I taught my little brother. Yes, exactly like that, Sammy. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Because um, the point is uh, at the same time, so I, I used the simple past. Yeah, yeah, it makes more sense in English, yep, exactly. Uh, more examples, class? Or do you want to continue? And Ruth, did I answer your question? No. Okay, what was your question? Okay, I don't know. Uh, okay, wait, let me see. Giuseppe, I had been playing the game when I had received a bad call from my mom. Yeah, I had been playing the game when I had... When, okay, when I received, 
you, you don't need had twice. So it would be, I have been playing the game when I received, oops, received a bad, oops, call from my mom <laughs> or mom. Okay. Yes. So just like that, Giuseppe. Um, I've been playing chess until somebody stole it. Until somebody stole stole it. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had been focusing on learning English until I discovered the importance. Wait. I oh I had not been focusing on learning English until I discovered the importance of English. Good. Perfect, David. Yeah, very good. Okay. Uh, and Ken, I had been walking outside before it rained. Good. Perfect. Uh, I had been learning uh, too much. Uh, okay. Yes. Good correction. And before, before I traveled. Okay. <laughs> okay. But yes, very good. All right, guys. I think. We understand this, yes? Okay, so usually, usually remember, it's talking about an event that is leading up to another event, um, or it, it's giving a reason or background information, okay? Um, Y'all seem to have that pretty figured out, okay? Um, <laughs> so this is a more in-depth explanation. Um, but like I said, I think we understand this. Um, so here, if you're a visual person, um, here are some pictures to what it looks like. Okay. Um, okay. So let's read. Um, okay. Read this for me. Um, go ahead, Eugenia. Uh, using the past perfect continuous before another action in the past is a good way to show course on effect. Mm -hmm. Examples. Mm -hmm. Jason, uh, Jason was tired because he had been jogging. Sam gained weight because uh, he had been overeating. Betty failed a final test because she had not been attending class. Okay, very good. So now, uh, with this activity, we are going to be giving a reason using the past perfect progressive, okay? So, um, let's see. Number one, um, let's see, Leonardo. Okay. Um. She uh, Sarah felt sick because she had been. Mm -hmm. We I have to use the those verbs. Please. No. 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 Any of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry. You can use anything. Sarah felt sick because she had uh, in the rain. Uh, okay. She had been okay. Yeah. In the rain. Okay. Uh, okay, good. Try to give me, this is the past perfect though. Oh, um, you. Can you think of an example that's past perfect progressive? Yeah. Okay, can I say to, uh, so Sarah felt sick because she had been playing in the rain. Good. Perfect. Okay. All right, number two, Monica. The boys uh, were upset that they didn't make the team because because um, their parents had been no their parents hadn't been allowing to make a team. Uh, maybe to practice. to practice. Hadn't been allowing them to practice. 
because you would say because you would say uh, because their parents uh, hadn't allowed them to uh, like try out for the team. Is that what you were trying to say, Monica? This one? Um, maybe. Yes. Do you know? Do you know tryout? Do not you know that? Not exactly. Okay. Tryout. Um. Tryout um, is um. For example, uh, you you want to make the team. So you go to try out. It means uh, you try to make the team. Mm -hmm. You try to make the team. You try out for the team. Mm -hmm. It means you show your skills, you show your abilities, and then the coach, the coach says yes or no. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So is that what you were trying to say? Yes. Okay. Okay. So good. Um, if you're wanting to say the parents did not give permission, uh, you would use like the the uh, past perfect. Mm -hmm. um, but for example, if if uh, practicing is something that they can do continuously, so uh, their parents had not been allowing them to practice. Because, for example, the kids would say um, on Tuesday, Mom, Dad, let me practice. They'd say no. On Wednesday, Mom, Dad, let us practice. They would say no. Okay? So that's why this one is continuous, and this one is a one-time thing. You go to tryouts once. Okay. Okay. Do you, do you see the difference, Monica? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. All right, but both very good sentences. All right, number three. Uh, let's see. Um, Ken. Okay, number three. My car broke down, but I wasn't surprised. Hmm. Because uh, it had it had been broken. <laughs> no, no. It, <laughs> it had. Being, uh, uh, being, uh, uh, how can you say the progression form? Yeah. You could say you could say it had been breaking down. Breaking, oh yeah, breaking for down. A week now. A week. Uh, or or you can try to use the negative. It hadn't. Oops. Hadn't. Uh, it hadn't what, Ken? Uh, it hadn't been working well mm -hmm. for a week. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it hadn't been working or it hadn't been working well for a week. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. Uh, number four, Anton. Okay. Uh, I was angry because I had been studying all night long, mm -hmm. and I came up short in Good. the test. <laughs> I came up short on the test. Good. Perfect. Good use of the new little phrasal verb we learned. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ruth, number five. I was sad because my mom had been shouting uh -huh. me. Oh, okay. Had been shouting at me. At uh, me? Mm -hmm. All the day. All day. All day. Good. Okay, I was sad because my mom had been shouting at me all day. Uh, yep, shouting or maybe yelling. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Shelly. Yep. Both are good. Um, 
much. Okay, so number six, Samming. Number six, okay. She was excited because, because she, she has she has been um, um, playing uh, uh, exciting game for two hours. <laughs> okay. Good. Oops. Good. Uh, she had been playing an exciting game for two hours. Perfect. All right, number seven. Um, let's see, Giuseppe. Giuseppe. One moment. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, Air boss was happy because. Uh, he, he had uh, been uh, he had been uh, driving uh, an uh, emotionally car. A what car? Uh, an uh, a good car, beautiful car. A beautiful. Beautiful car. Okay, for, a beautiful. For many hours. Beautiful, good car. Good car. Uh huh. For many hours. Good. Okay, okay he had been driving a beautiful, good car. Uh, or a good, beautiful. Mm, he'd been driving a good, beautiful car. Good, beautiful okay. car for many hours. Okay, very good. All right, number eight. Um, Eugenia? Uh, he was out of breath when he arrived because um, uh, he, uh, be, he had been feeling so bad. Can I say that? He had been what? Had been what? Mm, feeling. Uh-huh, okay. Feeling so bad. Uh, or, 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 or what? What's the other option? Uh, uh, for time of flight. Um, wait. He had been out of breath when he arrived because he had been feeling so bad. Um. Uh, okay. No, should not. Um. when he had uh, had been running for two hours. So what something? I think he was out of breath. Um. Uh, because he had been running for two hours. Yeah. So. so Eugenia. Usually, usually when you say I'm out of breath, mm -hmm. usually it's because you're panting, like, <sighs> like you can't you can't breathe. Uh, so it makes more sense to say because he had been running, or um, because he had been jogging, or something like that. Good, and thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'm running. I was running for three hours, for example. Okay. Okay. Uh, number nine, David. Uh, Dina lost weight because uh, she had been exercise for a long time. Uh -huh. Both diet, diet. <laughs> yeah, you could say both <laughs> dieting or exercising for a long time. Good. Oh no. Okay. Good. 
Uh, Tina lost weight because she had been dieting or exercising for a long time. Good. Um, okay. So, uh, does this make sense when we talk about the reason, the reason behind something? We understand that class? Yeah. Okay. All right, perfect. Then we will continue. Okay. It can also be used in reported speech. Okay. Uh, so let's look at these examples. Okay. Um, okay, Monica, read that for us. She said she had been trying to call me all day. They said they had been shopping. I told you I, I had been looking for some new clothes. For some new clothes. Clothes. Perfect. Yep. All right, good. So when we... Um, when we talk about what someone has told us or said, we can use the past perfect progressive um, if, it is an, if, if it is an action that was a continuous action. Okay? Um, so does anyone want to give me an example or try to give me a sentence with she said, they said, I told, he told? Okay, she uh, she said that uh, that he uh, that she had been cooking for me for two hours. Cooking for me for two hours? Yes. Uh huh. Good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Give me an example. Someone else. He told told me. Mm hmm. He had been working all day. He told me he had been working all day. Good. Okay. Perfect. Give me an example. I told you I had been Training a lot. Mm -hmm. Training in order, oh. in order to mm, to be a, an athlete. Athlete. Mm, okay, good. I told you I'd been training a lot in order to be an athlete. Good. Anyone else want to give me an example? I I told her that I I had been working out for the past for the past hours for the past two hours. Uh -huh. For the past two hours. Good. So, uh, working out. Oh, sorry. Working out. Yeah. I told her that I had been working out for the past two hours. Perfect. Yep. She said that she had been wearing uniform for one day. Uh, she told us that she... what? She ha had been wearing, mm -hmm. wearing uniform. All day? All day. Okay, good. Yeah. So we use, um, for example, if you said uh, she tells us, that's in the present. So we don't need that for the past perfect progressive. This is something that she has said um, in the past. And you are repeating it now. You are repeating it in this moment to a different person. Does that make sense? Yes, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. All right. I've got to make 
-hmm. If we use the uh, reporting speech, uh -huh. that's why I can say I I told you because I report the speech. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I told you. Because I maybe she said, they said, he said. Yeah, you can say I told you. I told you, um, and then whatever you want to say. <laughs> I told you I report something. Report someone. What what he what, what who says? I what? told you I'd report someone. What did you say? Something. Important things. Important things. Yeah. Oh, I. Report someone. What who says? Not report me. Report what I say. Re Oh, it's for someone who reports what you say. Uh, I guess so. I, I don't know exactly what you mean by that. Uh, we report some uh, someone um, what what uh, who say. You see, uh, oh, she said okay. he has been. Yeah, said. so it's like you're reporting what they said. Yeah, that's what reporting speech is. Yes. Yeah, it's when you're saying. Yeah. Say, yeah, it's when you're telling something, someone what someone else has said. Uh, but you can use "I told you." You oh. can say that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. One more example with this. They said that they had been learning present uh, past perfect continuous for almost one hour. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Continuous for almost or for almost one hour or for the past hour? I forgot what you said. For almost, for one, almost hour. one hour. One okay. hour. Good. Continuous. Okay. But Daniel, we can remove that or yeah. cover it with. They said they had been. Yeah, you don't. You don't need that. But it's covered in both ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you could say he told me he had been working all day. Uh, they said they had been learning. So yeah, you don't you don't need that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Um, he said he had been waiting f for an hour. Mm -hmm. He said he had been waiting for. An hour. Perfect. Yep. He said he had been waiting for an hour. Good. All right. Um, okay. Oh, he said that he had been working for uh, for for almost two hours, Giuseppe. For uh, another other hour, extra time. He said that he had been working for. Uh, no, oh. you don't, um, he said that he had been working yes, for, time. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, let me see, he said that he had been working for, um, an extra two hours. I think I would say, or, okay. or, or you can say for another for another two hours. If okay, if we use for a for phrasal hours, verb, that is correct. Uh, wait, hold on. Giuseppe, say it again. Uh, for other, not is correct. Yeah, other, other, for other is not correct. Okay. No, okay. but you can say for an extra two hours or for another two hours. Okay. I use another. Okay. Okay. And then, um, what did what was someone else trying to say? Yes, I, I was. Uh, uh, it's about the use of a phrasal verb. Yes. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's correct to use in this way. Uh, I said I told you. Mm -hmm. I had been making up my mind. Is this mm -hmm. correct to finish the? I told you. Uh, I told you I had been making. Uh huh. 
I told you Make, that I had been making up my mind. Because I was so confused. Mm -hmm. Because I was so confused. Uh, okay, or you can say trying to make, okay, I would say I told you that I had been trying to make up my mind because I was so confused or, or because I am, because I am so confused, maybe, because you're still, you're still confused in this moment when you say it again. So you could say, I I told you that I had been trying to make up my mind because I'm so confused. But directly is not correct to making up my mind or it's so on sound word. Um I told you that I okay, for me I would say I told you that I um uh, that I am making, I would say this, I told you that I am making up my mind, or I would say I already, I already explained to you that, I, no, see I would, mm, okay, I would use I am trying to make up my mind uh, because you are, you are still in the process of of trying to do it. Um, so make up your mind is... Um, okay, hold on, let me think. That's a good question. I told you that I had been making up... I told... no. I In that, in that situation I would use, I told you that I had been trying to make up my mind. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. That's that's what I would say. Uh, not I told you that I had been making up my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, because it, if you had been making up your mind, it sounds like now you have a decision. Now you made a decision. So usually you would just tell them the decision you made, right? You're you're not confused anymore. Okay, so I, I would use trying. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. okay. Yes, who's... Does someone have a question? Yes. Uh, okay, tell me. When, uh, when I use, I'm making up my mind. Uh, otherwise, uh, I use uh, keep up my mind is... Uh, is uh, also, I use keep up my mind. It's correct. Keep up my mind. Mm, no, making up my mind is like you are trying to make a decision. Making up my mind is trying to make a decision. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. okay, other questions on no. this? No. Okay. Um, um, okay. Uh, all right, let's look at... Um, wait. Um, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look at this. The past continuous versus the past perfect continuous to show you the difference between uh, why you use the past continuous and why you use the past perfect continuous. Okay, so um, let's see. Giuseppe, can you yeah. read that? Yeah. Uh, uh, if you do, if you uh, past continuous versus past paper continuous. You do not include a duration such as for five minutes, for two weeks, or since science Friday. Many English speakers chose to use the past continuous rate than, than the past perfect continuous. Uh, 
be careful because this can change the mining of the center. Pass mm -hmm. continuous and emphasizes interrupt, interrupted action, whereas fast perfect continuous. Emphasizes a duration of time before something in the past. Study the example below to understand the difference. Good. All right, David, read us the examples. Or read the examples for us, please. Oops. What is my English teacher? What? What is the my intonation, the my pronunciation in English? It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. You did a very good job. I hope. <laughs> yes, you're doing fantastic. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, David. Yeah. Can you read? He the was tired because he was exercise so hard. Mm -hmm. This sentence uh, emphasized that he was tired because he was exercising at that exact moment. Mm -hmm. He was tired <laughs> because he had been exercising so hard. This sentence emphasized that he was tired because he had been exercised over a period of time. It is possible that he was still exercising at that moment or that he had just finished. Okay, so does everyone see the difference in these two sentences? They have slightly different meanings. Okay. Yes. We understand that. Yeah, but it's very difficult to, uh, you know, I trans don't understand the difference uh, in, in my native language. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got the concept anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. So this one uh, is emphasizing that he was tired uh, because he is exercising in that okay. moment. So, for example, he is. Yeah. Okay, he was tired because he was exercising so hard. So these are two actions in the past that are in that same moment in the past. Okay, so they're at the exact same time in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this one, this one is the reason that he was tired. So after the workout, after he exercised, uh, he was then tired. Mm. Does that make sense, guys? So first sentence, uh, uh, the action is was was still continue, continuing. And second sentence, action has done, has done at the moment. Right, right. So okay. this one is saying. Uh, uh, well, this one is saying that at the end of his exercise, this is the emotion he felt in that moment. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so yes. Yeah, so this one is right after the exercise. This one, this is the emotion during the exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. For example, if, if you know, I'm in a flight, uh, in a airplane, I uh -huh. can say uh, I was uh, started started mm -hmm. uh, crazy because uh, I was I was flight all uh, I was flight all day long. Oh, okay, wait. The last two hours. Okay, wait. Say that again, Leonardo. I was uh -huh. stirred. Not crazy because I was traveling uh, to, uh, the last two two hours. Uh, okay, I was stir crazy because um, I was no uh, no. This one doesn't make sense. So it would be because I had been I had been uh, traveling. For the past two hours, let me make sure. Um, I was stir crazy, or I felt stir crazy 
because no. I have been traveling for the past two hours. Um, but I felt, I felt this way when I was in, in the flight. Okay, I was stir crazy because I was traveling. Okay, yeah, you can say that. I was stir. Okay, I was stir crazy uh, because yeah, you can say that. I was traveling for two hours. Uh, but okay, I think why it's sounding weird uh, is because you're giving the exact duration. You're giving the amount of time, and usually with four and the amount of time, it's usually using uh, the past perfect progressive. Um, so I would say I was stir crazy uh, because I was traveling. Or, okay, in an airplane. No, you can say that. In an airplane for two hours. Okay, so if you were stir crazy while you were traveling on the airplane, you can say I was stir crazy because I was traveling in an airplane for two hours. Good. Yes, Leonardo, exactly. So if you want to emphasize that it was done while you were traveling, yes. Bye, Anton. Um, okay, and one more thing. Leonardo, were you the person with the example earlier um, with making up your mind? I no. told you. Who was that? <coughs> Class? Was that this? Okay. Maybe they left already. Okay, um, I told you I had been making up my mind. Um, you you can say that in English. You don't have to say trying to make up your mind. I told you I had been making up my mind. Um, and you could say, and now I've reached a decision, for example. Okay? So it depends on the context. It depends what you're saying. But yes, you can say, I told you I had been making up my mind. Uh, and now I've finally reached a decision. Okay? All right. Any questions before we head out? Before I leave? Nothing? Uh, teacher. Yes. Was exercising for the precision moment and uh, other ways. Uh, instead, uh, um, I've been exercising for uh, the time or for the overtime, for the, the tenth uh, when uh, the time is over of period. Correct. Wait, are you talking about the the example on the worksheet? Okay. Mm. He was tired because he was exercising so hard yeah. is for uh, exact moment. When I use uh, at been exercising is when I uh, specific when I want a specific uh, moment a specific moment. Not over not, time. not exactly okay so uh, if okay he was tired and he was exercising, it means he is exercising and he is tired. He is tired while he exercises. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the second one, the second one is saying uh, he had exercised. Yes. And now it's finished. Yes. And now he's tired. Okay? Okay. In the okay. second time. In the second part, yes. Yes. Okay. So he was not tired. He was not tired until after. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, That's ah, what okay. I'm because uh, uh, um, then uh, uh, the people is tired uh, over when I finish the, the exercise. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because the person is finished after the exercise. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Any more questions? If so, y'all can message me on my Google Chrome account. Um, but if not, then I will see y'all later. Bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye. Bye.